for the longest time, being a content creator was my dream. I used to watch my favorite YouTubers as a kid and dream about what it'd be like to make a living doing the things that you love, making videos about anything that you wanted. And so I was making YouTube videos for a while, until I got busy with school, busy with traveling, busy with family and friends, and told myself I'd get back to it when I had the time. And honestly, that day never really came, and I wasn't all that motivated to make videos. And I think that left me really confused, because, I mean, this was supposed to be my dream, right? Shouldn't I be excited to do these projects? Why am I not pushing myself? I mean, this is not what I want. I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. On one hand, it connects me with so many other creators and I have so much content at my disposal. But on the other hand, it can feel so superficial, competitive, and discouraging. And so I've been stuck in a creative rut. the reason why I haven't really been posting on this channel or been using the platform at all really. I feel like it's so easy to fall into the trap and compare yourself with other creators which leave me feeling really discouraged and unmotivated. And as a film photography centered channel, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really want to be making videos about gear or reviewing different types of film stocks. I just care about making good photos and while gear and specifications do play a part, it's not important to me. And also not to mention making short reels, shameless self-promotion, and creating like clickbaity titles. Um, it's not it's not for me. And it's like, oh my god JC, you just need to do it. That's how you get more reach. That's how you build your audience. I mean, don't you want that? But honestly, it just feels like Selling your soul to the algorithm. Yeah. The thing about creating artwork is that it's so personal and intimate. And the process of creating artwork is something that's usually private with the artist and the artwork. And however they want to create is completely up to them. But when you add in the steps of documenting each step of your process and add in an audience and also just the pressure of them watching and judging, it all feels quite disruptive and it kind of feels like that hobby doesn't belong to you anymore if that makes any sense and then there's also that frustration of you know the content saturated market and you pour your heart and soul into something only for it to be consumed like content like it's monetized critiqued and disposed and it's very discouraging I often found myself making photos just for the sake of making a video and that didn't sit right with me because that's not how I want to take my photos. And I think YouTube is a great platform for creators but not necessarily one for artists. I think that goes for a lot of other platforms too. I wanted to quit quit making videos because I thought that it didn't make me happy anymore and maybe I just wasn't cut out for it. But then I realized something and... I wasn't making videos for myself, and that's where I went wrong. A lot of my videos were determined based on what I thought people would want to watch, um, following trends, stuff like that. And I realized that it's the act of making art that makes me happy, not creating content, and there's a difference. So that is to say you might see a shift of work on here, and that is just me simply trying to get back to making what truly drives and inspires me and I'm not exactly sure what that is but I'm thinking maybe something along the lines of this video um yeah I mean after all I fell in love with filmmaking first <laughs>